All right, so the Spirit Bomb is like this super powerful move from the Dragon Ball series. Imagine you're Goku, the hero, right? You're in a tough spot, facing some big baddie who's just too strong. What do you do? You reach out for a lifeline from everything around you, plants, animals, people, even the planet itself. You throw your hands up in the air like you just don't care, but actually, you do a lot and start gathering all this energy. It's like you're asking everyone to lend you a bit of their strength. This energy starts to form a massive glowing ball of power above your hands. It's shiny, it's sparkly, and it's getting bigger by the second. Now here's the catch. It takes time to make this thing. You're standing there, arms up, totally open to attack. So you're hoping your friends can keep the bad guy busy while you're charging up this ultimate weapon. Once it's ready, you launch this giant ball of borrowed energy at the villain. I mean, if they're evil, it hits them like a ton of bricks. If they're good, well, it might not work so well. But let's be real. It's usually the bad guys who are getting this cosmic fastball. So that's the spirit bomb for you. It's like a last resort, Hail Mary Pass using the energy of all living things around you to save the day. Pretty epic, huh? This is Joe Rogan blasting off again.